our supplies and uh, ready to do some more work, <laughs> more projects. And um, just took the Mazda out for a ride. Looking pretty good. And let's um, clean the exhaust a bit, you know. <laughs> Actually, got a bit dust in the Honda. It's cool to put your phone, you know. well the exhaust eh? So, got all our tools over here. Um, it's always a hassle when you're doing stuff outside because you always got to bring a bunch of tools. So, I mean, I just use the wheelbarrow and just stuff it all inside, you know. <laughs> but still, you have to remember always, like, because I always put the tools away then, you always have to remember I need this, I need that, I need that. So, I think it's uh, the part that tires me the most is to get the tools <laughs> than doing the work. So, um, we already got this pipe coming up here through the wall. So I put a T. The pipe only finished here, see? And it was blocked, if you guys can remember. So I just put a union and um, increase the pipe to this height. Put a T because I'm going to go across and put this tap over here. Okay. I was going to use the old school vintage um, tap basin but um, because we're going to use this for a host pipe the basin would always be in the way of the host pipe going from left to right you know so it wasn't going to work out so I'm just going to go for the normal simple tap accessory and just cross the pipe from left to right more or less here it's a good height and um, going to then take the tube 
right onto the top of the tank and drill a hole right there on that corner right there okay and so that the water can go in then we'll go into the inside and do all the water fittings uh, for the watering of the future greenhouse and for the automatic water supply of the chicken remember guys if you guys go see the previous videos um, from chicken palace onwards you can see what I'm talking about <laughs> okay so let's continue quite hot very hot um, the beetles are cool they're in the shade actually I haven't seen the female beetle if she left last night because she was still here yesterday um, let's see if she's still here today let's see uh, I'm not sure if she buried herself into the ground or if she left I see a little hole there so I'm not quite sure I don't want to lift it in case she's there because I know they rest for a few days but Remember she was outside and she just made her own little house there, so she was a small female So I guess she still has a long run and um, Maybe she's still not ready, you know to do her own thing <laughs> So we'll just leave her here. She doesn't pay rent anyway, so <laughs> She can just stay here All the time she needs It is good Okay, just put this properly. There you go just put these extra like wood this one here because like that it gives it like a shade you see so that the sun doesn't go inside because it's quite hot and this shade makes a big difference for them very big difference um, these beetles aren't coming out with the heat yesterday you could see a female and one male coming out but they always just tuck inside as soon as they hear movement or anything so that's a good sign it must be like five or six um, couples in there because I guess like the males then have to fight for the females um, but they're doing well it's actually pr a pretty lot of females for the amount of males so they are good they don't have to fight too much and then we got a bird nest right up there now uh, for some reason it's not normal for the birds to like cause we're here every day to make a nest um, but yeah don't know what type of bird it is I think it's like uh, the you know if you guys know Indian miner that type of bird um, so yeah so you got to be careful not to shake the tree or anything because I think there's very babies in there you can hear them go chee -chee 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 -chee. so you got to be extra careful with that now the plums all fell to the floor so there's only like butterflies flies and um, the wasps aren't here a lot because the wasps just like the fresh plums on the tree so the giant hornets so now it's just butterflies you know just cruising around i guess they're also going to use that wood for putting eggs and everything so what a difference a, a shelter makes eh in the ecosystem around here so we're just going to have to keep on building like um rests of fruits so that the beetles can always have a supply of food and stay there, you know. So yeah, um, quite cool. Now we're going to continue our work because uh, someone has to do it, you know. <laughs> Check these two guys out here walking. That's a smaller male. That's how big it is. That's a big buck. <laughs> now that one's like the size of my finger <laughs> almost. That's a big boy right there. Yes you are. Beautiful. So you, you're going to win all these fights, ain't you? I don't know if he's looking for the other male. But <laughs> there was a big bird here looking at you guys as if you were a male. <laughs> Why are you guys out here? Did you just arrive? I haven't seen this one with those two marks there. You see those two markings right there? I've never seen this one before. So these two just arrived like 
now or an hour before they just landed and that is a big boy wow that's amazing okay so they must be after the females that are inside the shelter there <laughs> we gotta get these guys in a safe place because can you hear that bird you heard just now yep um she's looking for food <laughs> she has plenty of food but i don't know this must be like gourmet food for her so we got to that's why i come here now and then you know just to make sure i'm like a scarecrow here you know <laughs> i use myself as a scarecrow just to scare them away <laughs> and the birds just keep on going somewhere else <laughs> Oh man, that's so funny. Beautiful, beautiful. That bird must also be maybe looking for that nest of little tiny birdies there, you know, so. Okie dokie. So, finally got all the tubings in place. Got a tap over here, okay. So I can open and close the water whenever I want to. The water is already running. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll show you. We already have this working. Now we can put our hose pipe here. Okay, the water is strong. We didn't lose much pressure. And now, let's come into here. Look how bigger watermelon is getting hey it's super tiny double the size amazing and we already got more watermelons there another three <laughs> and uh, as you can see we got our chicken water pipe already going into the cage now i just have to do the fitting on the end part to adapt it for the water supply accessory um, I also have to put more insulating uh, um, sleeve around the water tube so that the water tube doesn't get cut with the wind or or whatever and it doesn't get direct heat you know um, and we already got water coming out through the tank just so you guys know that I'm not you know making it up I think I'm gonna get wet let me see See, we have water over here everyone so now I'm going to bring another tube from here onto this pipe over here okay I'll come down and put another tap here so we can just put a regular hose pipe with the automatic um, watering system a sprinkler maybe or just have a, a hose pipe to water by hand if you want I think I'll put in the sprinkler on the ceiling like two sprinklers after we got this closed down or now I might actually come from here with a hose pipe and just uh, go to one sprinkler and from one sprinkler put another sprinkler there and get two sprinklers you know like there we don't have to water this by hand and we can water the other trees and strawberries and stuff like that you know um, just helps to speed everything up you know so yes finally all that is working now I have to uh, block that exit over there and I have to insulate better that tap because for some reason it's losing a bit of water so I couldn't really run the whole system 100% so I have to do that but the worst part is done the hardest part is done and basically in the garden water I think we are good okay uh, besides making the swimming pool one day I think we are good so very happy very happy indeed everyone super strong the structure uh, tested it all good all is good okay and we ate some quite a bit of lettuce already gotta start planting more uh, but there's still a lot <laughs> there is still a lot so very happy very excited and great updates now i have to get the chickens we still don't know what chickens we're gonna get we're still looking to see what chickens are available so we can't even choose what we want it's just about what's going to come up you know 
it will be a surprise <laughs> and that's about it guys so i'm going to close the video uh, with this and um i really start in the next video because that's how it goes <laughs> so uh, keep tuned uh, because it's cool content coming up okay huge updates um i think you guys are going to like it so see you on the next one and i'm out